Hello guys, today I want to show you an interesting example I found in open source project Oh Dear Pulse. So it's based on Oh Dear application, it's not free and not open source, but some of the parts are available on GitHub like Pulse and some other SDK. But it doesn't matter that much, it's not about Oh Dear, it's about this code snippet. In some cases I really like the examples of collections with arrays to avoid unnecessary for loops to manage the data. And I've tried to recreate that thing locally and we will trace the values and see what is the benefit of this transformation. So we have some performance records, which is a separate class in ODIR PHP SDK, which looks like this. So it's just set of values, basically. It's a PHP class, nothing really fancy. And I've tried to recreate it with just two values, exactly the values that we need created at and total time in seconds. And in here I use PHP property promotion to construct that object easily. That's why I don't need to specify them as properties. And here in my Tinkerwell, I've created five performance records for testing. Each record consists of created at, random timestamp, and total time in seconds for some performance metric like web page usage, and point time or something like that. Side note, after writing that code, I thought there's definitely a better way to do that and avoid for loop. And I thought this is a perfect example of not Googling that because it's hard to even describe the problem, but asking ChatGPT. Guess what? It provided the answer. And I realized this is a great use case for ChatGPT or other AI assistants in favor of Google or forums because you have custom code and you just ask, is there a better way? Because I definitely remember some array underscore something function, but it's been quite a while since I used it and I don't remember it by now. Guess what? It's array map. And here you just provide the range. So yeah, that code in Tinkerwell actually became this code. And ignore, by the way, this warning on Tinkerwell, it comes from previous experiment for some reason, it just stayed on the screen. So if we echo that performance records, here's the result array and each item is something like this. And now let's try to perform the same collection operation as on GitHub and see the result. And this is the result. So each of the new records transformed is timestamp and value of the milliseconds. So let's see what is happening under the hood step by step. So performance records is an array, then we put that into a collection and then we map through that collection and each of the item is one performance record object. Then we transform created at into a carbon object. And then from that we get timestamp with milliseconds. We also transform total time in seconds into milliseconds as well and return those two as array. Y reverse, it's for changing the newest and oldest items. Y values to avoid the key. And then we return that result as an array for future usage as array. But then for other operation, we need to find out max performance record. So we get back to collections and then we get the maximum of data point one, which is the duration in milliseconds. So this is our maximum value plus 10. For whatever reason, I don't know. This is something internal in ODIR logic and this is the result. So our array with 814, 478 and other values and the result is maximum which is the biggest value of those. So 863 plus 10 and this is the result number. So I just wanted to show you an example of collections operation because what collections allow is to chain those operations in one sentence. Separately, I have even a full course about such collection operations and chains with open source examples. So I will link that one in the description below. Question to you, do you use collections in a similar way with chains or do you prefer PHP syntax with for loops and array functions instead of collections? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.